Hi, thanks for choosing Premier Scene. I'm William McLaughlin. I'm here at day five of the 56th BFI London Film Festival. We're going to talk to the directors and producers of Zytown. I was wondering specifically for you, Aaron, you uh, were studying at Beaconsfield yes. and now you're back in London. What does it feel like to bring your film to the BFI? Well, first of all, I have to say, I think my old head headmaster from the school is here tonight, Colin Young. If he's here indeed, it'll be amazing. You're going to get marked at the end. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he's going to shout at me through the... Uh, listen, you know, I lived here for over four years. Uh, I think London is my second home, basically, and uh, I know it quite well, so I feel great here. And when you come to a major festival and in a major setting like this one, I think, you know, there's only good things I can feel. Big smile. And, and for you, Fred and uh, Gareth, were there any challenges particularly that stood out in producing and, and getting the film actually made? <laughs> How long have you got? <laughs> put, a couple oh, of <laughs> put a couple of other chips in that camera. Um, no, I mean, I think, you know, any film it, it is difficult to get going, especially independent and, you know, when maybe the, the subject matter is seemed to be contentious, that doesn't necessarily mean it is in any way. But, you know, independent filmmaking is incredibly tough, full stop, around the world, irrespective of the stories that you're trying to tell. And I think what it is is the persistence of will that Fred showed um, throughout and Iran during his time with the film and, and me as Johnny come lately, you know, the reason that the film is here now is because there's a lot of people that have really, really gone to, to the ends of the earth to make this film happen. Fred, anything that stuck out for you in terms of a bigger challenge? Well, I think the challenge first for us was to get a great script. And uh, once we did that with the help of Iran, and he had, was critical in, in developing this script, once we got Gareth on board, it really fast-tracked it. And in terms of you guys as filmmakers and also bringing the film itself to a film festival, what are the opportunities here that you can kind of exploit with, with your material and with your own careers and jobs coming up? Well, I can say for myself, you know, first of all, it's the audience. You want to reach the people, you want the people to be moved, excited, you know, to laugh, to cry, uh, and to talk about it later. And I think, you know, once people are excited about a film, it just uh, reaches further and further into, you know, hopefully a big release here and, uh, and a wide exposure. Yeah, well, London's a, a wonderful launch pad. I mean, I, I had the pleasure of being part of quite a phenomenal ride a couple of years ago with another film, and, you know, London was key to getting that going. I mean, it's a very different journey that we're all on, but it's a great opportunity to gather together friends, family, some of our investors are, are here with us this evening, and to watch the film with 850 people. I mean, that's a, that's a big haul. Yeah. <laughs> that's a lot of people. Yeah. And Fred, anything you Well, it's, it's, it's a dream. I mean, this is ultimately a dream to play at the London Film Festival. And we're here, and I think the audience will love it, and it's, we're so excited about it.